Blessings, everyone. As always, we will begin with a general look at the incoming wave that will have an effect on all people of all signs. Remember, incoming waves are here to stay, not just for a week, but as a new dynamic of this reality experience. This week, we have the High Priestess and the Hierophant, or High Priest, illustrating the new Earth dynamic that will be integrating into each personal and collective experience. There is so much intervention here, so much assistance. Those two cards together bring a harmony of spiritual truth and experiential truth, the internal and external reality merging into one coherent whole. The High Priestess brings great activation and awareness of the spiritual process in its complete truth to all. The Hierophant brings divine intercession and intervention with rerouting those who are lost back onto their true path. This will show up in many ways. In the April preview, we discussed disclosure through exposure in regards to the spiritual processes of the universe on a multidimensional level. This wave begins the revival, or aptly timed, resurrection of the divine truth of the self and the universe. Spiritual contact, skill, and healing will be abundant the world over. Do not allow yourself to get slowed down by distractions. Filter the sensational media, both mainstream and non-mainstream. Get away from the confirmation-biased interactions. Take space from wounded healer distraction activities. Shut down identity agendas and groupthink immersion. Voids and emptiness will be filled completely over with the new light as these energies surge through every fabric of our lives with new revelation, healing, direction, and the eradication of illusion and falsity. This is a time of great allowance, where emptiness was, now is support. Where blindness was, now comes new sight. Where distortion and discord were, now a new love light. Make as much room for this as possible. While this is here to stay and will be here at work henceforth, why wait? Many otherworldly and preternatural phenomena will be occurring from this week onward. This is the return of the sacred nature of the soul, the power and ability to be a part of the spiritual and universal process rather than subject to it. This applies to those of all ages and experiences, though for many on this path it has become much more prevalent of late anyway. Expect more. These are shift opportunities. Now is the revelation of the true light and the restoration of the divine self. It is here to stay, bringing the return to the true soul journey for all willing hearts. Well, okay, Capricorn, now that we've had a chance to look over the incoming wave, or the general horoscope, I guess you could say, for the entire population, again, not just for this week, but of course, what's here to land, right? The new dynamic that's going to be in play for everybody. Let's see how it actually lands for you this coming week. Just a quick reminder, if you are ever interested in getting a session with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Or of course, you may also just simply follow the links below. Or you can open the down bar below uh, and that'll open up the links for you. And if you are interested in learning more about tarot, my tarot home study course is of course on sale through the 7th. So if you're interested in taking advantage of that, it's over three hours of pre-recorded content by me plus supplemental documents made by me teaching you all about tarot for practical purposes, as well as, you know, some advanced techniques, including timing. So if you want to take advantage of that, again, the sale goes on through the 7th, and you can find that at my website. So what is going on when it comes to your cards? Well, 
The archetypal themes of this week are really working for you and working hard. You've actually got the Justice card upright, working behind all occurrences, all engagements, all interactions, and all circumstances. And so with the Justice card, what I'm actually seeing is a big enforcer of equivalent exchange, which is kind of interesting, right? Because you know, it's kind of a baby witch tarot trender mistake to assume that justice and maybe legality are the same thing, or that, you know, the litigious I equals justice, because it doesn't. Uh, we're talking about spiritual justice, we're talking about universal balance when we get this card. But we talk about the enforcement of equivalent exchange. Now we're really getting a chance to look and see at, you know, well, how is it that we are stepping into a space where our relationships, our social connections, our uh, financial transactions, our business transactions are all balanced, right? We talk about an equivalent exchange. The value, the vibration, the love and the energy that you put into something is exactly what you get out of it. Quantity and quality. And yes, you know, there are some occurrences where people may choose to allow that to not be so. But at the same time, when you have the Justice card as the archetypal theme, now alongside the energy of that intervention and intercession that we just spoke about with the incoming wave, that's kind of like a mandatory thing. And things that are not an equivalent exchange are coming up to be questioned, coming up to be examined and even scrutinized, right? When we talk about relationships or social connections or yes, you know, uh, financial arrangements or business arrangements where there's not an equivalent exchange. People are taking more than they are giving or they are trying to get something but they're putting out the wrong vibration. They are trying to maybe get love or get prosperity but they're giving out energies of fear or lack or aggression, uh, something dysregulated. This is not going to fly and <laughs> that's kind of how things work. That's why, you know, if things are not in a proportionate match, they don't manifest anything. And so this week you're going to be seeing a lot of enforcement of equivalent exchange going on around you. Now this could prove to be very, very nice, especially when it comes to maybe finding yourself in situations where you're liberated from things that are not equivalent exchanges. It's taking more than it's giving. It's maybe giving the minimal amount possible and then taking a mile wherever it can. Well, we're not going to be dealing with that energy or those people, right? You have a chance to release that and let that go. The same thing can go for circumstances that are maybe inequitable in terms of their emotional currency or their vibration, right? If it's like, if this is supposed to be a truly loving friendship or loving uh, social connection or loving relationship, then the vibration has to be love, peace, and harmony. It can't be uh, something that is disharmonious or something that is aggressive or, or unstable or negative. And so there's an enforcement of that and that which will not, you know, uh, work itself into, you know, whip itself into shape, well, then now we've got a circumstance where that situation might have to dissolve to make place for something more deserving in your life. In fact, when we have the uh, Ace of Pentacles reversed for your news and arrivals, well, there is something going on where a circumstance that is out of balance when it comes to maybe a material exchange or maybe a collaboration, something going on with either a friend or a family member, or again, a professional circumstance that um, is not, it's, it's absolutely not, you know, happening because of a lack of balance here, a lack of equivalent exchange here. And with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, there's going to be something that occurs where you're kind of getting everything that you invested in this, uh, in this person or in the situation back. Okay, you're getting everything that you put in back. And I think that the reason that that's happening is because this person or this connection or this project, whatever, is not where your energy and your resources should be spent. So we're getting it back, right? We're kind of getting that rebate, that refund, and now we get to reinvest it in somebody else. We get to reinvest it elsewhere. And with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, it might be difficult, right? Because this could be a close friend. Maybe we just weren't supposed to mix business and friendship. Maybe it's a family member and that can make things kind of awkward, right? When it comes to, you know, family stuff. But with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, it's a time for a shift. As we get to the material resources, well, we've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. And this is where the Justice card energy really shows up and starts to shine. 
Because with the Seven of Cups reversed, there is a commitment that is coming, a new professional commitment, a new financial commitment that is actually custom fit for you. When we have the Seven of Cups reversed, it is you and you alone. It is for you and you alone. It is custom designed for you, maybe custom tailored to you, possibly even something that you help design yourself. And with the Seven of Cups reversed, I feel like this is, again, in, in proper balance. This is something that is a perfect match for your skills, your abilities, and what you contribute. But what I find interesting is that you might be getting, you know, finding some awareness of how much value that real, you know, that can actually really hold. Because now this opportunity, whatever's being custom designed, tailored, and offered to you, is a new commitment financially or professionally that you can actually build a completely new platform for yourself on. As we get to love and relationships, well, we've got the Seven of Wands upright. And it does look like this week the focus of enforcement is going to be talking all about whipping relationships into shape. Now, this does not necessarily have to mean drama or anything negative, but the Seven of Wands does have a lot of you Capricorn people, yes, in a space of power where you may be needing to kind of make some serious shifts as it relates to either a dating circumstance you're in, something going on with a partner or a spouse, or maybe it's you and your spouse as a joint unit talking about maybe a family member, an in-law, your kids. But the Seven of Wands is all about whipping things into shape. Now, what I find interesting about the Seven of Wands is that it's, again, very much like that Justice card, it's trying to bring things back into balance. If you look at it with the Seven of Wands, the guy is there facing off against six other wands or six other people. So this is clearly not an equivalent exchange situation. And it does look like a partner is going to actually basically stand up and topple everyone and everything that is trying to get away with a non-equivalent exchange or something that is not an equivalent exchange. And I find that this is actually going to be bringing more fairness, more balance, more equanimity to your relationship as well, wherever they are fighting this battle. For those of you who are currently available, you may be finding that this is uh, somebody actually proving their worth to you by helping you fight a battle of your own, by actually showing up, championing you, uh, offering resources, offering advice. It does feel like there's a big um, opportunity to see exactly what the person's bringing to the table because they're offering you already what they have on their table. And they're kind of like, you know, as we get to know each other, they have answers to questions you're looking for answers to. They have connections to things you're looking to connections to. So we have a really interesting game of musical chairs going on all around every single spot of your chart this week. Use it to your advantage, Capricorn. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go off to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Open up the down bar below. You can follow the links there. And uh, I will see you later. Thanks for stopping by.